dances with flamingos. this afternoon and I get to play a beautiful pink flamingo. See my new ballet shoes? Yeah, she's been practically sleeping in them all week. I'm pretty much all set except for one thing. I still have to practice my arabesque in passe. You're which and you're what? I think those are things you do in ballet, right Mimi? Uh-huh. Wanna see? An arabesque is when you stand on one leg like this. You stick your other leg out behind, see? What was that other thing you said? A passe is when you stand on one leg like this and put your toes on your other foot and sweep it around. Wow, you're really good. So why do you need to practice? Because you're not supposed to be holding on to anyone while you're doing it. <laughs> so all you have to do is stand on one leg? I bet I can do that. Me too. I don't know, it's not that easy. What do you think? Can you stand on one leg while I count to five? Before you try, make sure you're standing in an open space away from furniture. Okay, so let's try it. Here we go. Everybody stand on one leg. One, two, three, four, five. See, what did I tell you? You're right. That was really hard if you just play frog with us. But I have to practice. If I don't, I'm gonna fall over. So what I have to do is practice and practice until I can finally stand on one. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, Dennis. Don't worry, Mimi. I'll bet you'll be standing on one leg in no time. Just like a beautiful flamingo. I thought flamingo thought we had one leg. It looks that way because they always stand on one leg and keep the other one curled up. I think. Hey, maybe a flamingo can teach you how to do that, Mimi. Cool. All we have to do is look up flamingo in the... Ah, ah, ah. Not so loud. You know what happens whenever you mention that you know what. Do you know which? You know. The creepy book of everything.
It is indeed. So a flamingo gets rid of the salt in a special way. The salt comes back out through its nose. That happened to me once. Remember the time I laughed so hard all that milk came out my nose? Look at these baby flamingos. They're kind of cute. But they're funny looking too. What's wrong with them? Yeah, why aren't they all pink like their parents? That's a very interesting question. Did you know the flamingo gets its color from the food it eats? They do? But how? When flamingos are hatched, they're grayish-white. But their food has tiny amounts of red coloring in it. Since it's all they eat, after a while it turns their feathers pink too. Wow! What if we could do that? I'd probably be green. Because I like pickles so much. <laughs> You'd be all purple. Because you eat so much grape jelly. Mm, my favorite. What about you? What color would you turn? Look, they're all standing on one leg. I still think it's because they only have one leg. Well, maybe you should take a look through the stanoscope. He's right. You can really see animals up close with it. Thanks, Stanley. around yourself when you're cold. I can't believe they stand so still. From over here, they almost look like big trees. Very good, Bossy. As a matter of fact, that's another reason why flamingos stand on one leg. It makes them look like a tree, and that fools the small fish they're hunting. Cool. That's really interesting. Only, I don't need to turn pink or stay warm or catch any fish. I just need to figure out how to stand on one leg. Hey! Wait a second, everyone. Doesn't it look like some of the flamingos are dancing? Yeah, but I don't hear any music. I think all that dancing has to do with the way flamingos get along with each other. Really? So do you think one of those dances could make me help you stand on one leg, Mimi? We might as well try. Come on. First, let's try the head stretch. How about you? Do you think doing the flamingo dance will help you stand on one foot? Just make sure you're standing away from furniture and give it a try. Now let's try standing on one leg. It's no use. What if we try the other dance thing instead? Turn your head around and pretend you're preening your tail feathers. Come on, try this other flamingo move too. This is fun. I feel like a real flamingo. <laughs> okay. Now let's try to stand on It's so good. That makes it even harder. Wait, everyone. Look what that one's doing. Wow. Maybe we should try spreading out our arms like the flamingo spreads its wings. Do you think spreading out your arms would help you stand on one leg? Just open your arms wide like flamingo wings and see if you can stand on one leg for the count of five. One, two, three, four, five! Yay! Wow, I get it. You need balance to stand on one leg. Yeah, like you need balance to ride a bike or walk a straight line. Look at me, I can do it. Like a flamingo. Aren't you scared we're gonna fall? Not if we spread our arms out wide. Like they were wings. Hey Dennis, did you 
Did you know that flamingos knew how to dance like that? I certainly didn't. And they look quite lovely doing it. And God, those flamingos taught Mimi and the rest of us how to stand on one foot. And that's not all they taught us. Today we learned that flamingos strain their food out of water. Then they turn pink from their diet. And we learned that if you hold your arms out like a flamingo sticks out its wings, it helps your balance so you can stand on one leg. Yes. Now, if I only had any legs to stand on, I'd be all set. <laughs> Good night, Dennis. Good night, Flamingo Boy Stanley.